So let's take a look at one approach to building your business card. So I start out usually by typing individual boxes for each one of the lines of information. Then watch just by doing a couple things. Now I don't, ex I don't want you to really just copy everything that I'm doing, but I wanted to walk you through some of the process. Just lining stuff up helps. Then going in and changing the font. That makes it a little bit more interesting. Then making the choice of what do I really want people to know about when I hand them a business card, usually the name. So that helps. So I made that a little bit more bold. But the information down below is still just too far apart. So I want to use the concept of proximity and group like items together. Now, even with that, it may be a little too much. So I'd still want to experiment more with this. I think there might be too much space between the uh, address and the contact information. But again, adding even more contrast on that, see how that kicks the thing out just a little bit more, makes the name really stand out. Kind of evening things up just a little bit here so that I've got the same amount of space at the top and the bottom. Then deciding, hey, I've got a little bit more room. I might be able to make the logo a little bit bigger. Maybe I'll pull some color from the logo. Maybe I'll tone down the address and the contact information by instead of doing black on white, doing like a gray on white, that could possibly make things stand out. Then I can start to experiment, duplicate the page, flip everything over to the right-hand side that was on the left and everything that was on the left, put it on the right. Turn the orientation of the business card. So now it's vertical. Then going in and playing around with the alignment, putting things to the left trying everything in the center, moving some things around. Now remember, you can duplicate these pages or artboards so quickly that it really doesn't take much time to come up with a lot of variations, even variations that I look at now and decide, ugh, I don't like that. But that's okay, I just leave it there. Then I start to look at, well, what if I did two pages? If I had a two-sided card, this would allow me to kind of play around with a little bit more space, so maybe that's an option. Maybe I throw in some color. Maybe I play around with bars. Maybe I throw a photo in there and really start experimenting more with the name on the card. So just further experimenting with the layout. And I haven't even gotten to the part about trying different fonts or trying different style of fonts, doing small caps, doing all caps, going in and experimenting more with the way that the contact information, you know, adding these extra little details, those details is what's going to take something from being pretty basic to really standing out. Maybe dividing up the space a little bit differently. So I'm just using different colors to do this. Now I may not even use those colors. I'm just looking at ways of segmenting out the page. I might be able to find some high resolution images of paper texture. And I'll show you I'll have a link on Canvas on showing you where I went to find these textures. Sometimes having that, since we're not physically printing these out, usually you would have paper that would have some kind of bite or some kind of texture to it. So you may as well try it out and see what it looks like. So those are a ton of different ways. If you see, this took me about 20 minutes to go through and just duplicate, move things over, duplicate, try to bold something, duplicate, change the orientation, duplicate. This is what I'm looking to have you do. I wanna have 20 or so different variations of you experimenting with the way that you are structuring your page and how you're putting emphasis on one thing versus another. This can be really quick to be able to bust out these variations. And this is going to allow you to really see what is effective and what isn't as effective. And that's what you're going to work on today. In the next video, I will show you what I want you to turn in as far as your rough draft by midnight tonight.